Hi, Noah. Alan, good morning. How are you? I'm good. Wow, you sound so bright and bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. <laughs> I'm inspired. <laughs> so I admire all the hard work you do. You know, I love the film that you start along with Megan Fox and Shadow Girl that released this past summer. Also, another great one that I think a lot of your fans know you from is The Hunger Games, Catching Fire. Yeah. But what was one of your first roles that you landed as an actor, and how does it feel to know... Uh, or, or how does it feel to see how many roles that you have been able to land ever since the first project you've worked on in your career? Like, what's been one of your absolute favorites? Oh, one of my absolute favorites, I, I would say, is uh, playing Thad Castle from Blue Mountain State. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. It, you know, for, I mean, for me, that was, uh, it, I, I, I quit school. I started to go to school for music theater, and I was like, what am I doing here? I hate this. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, I hated being in class. I just had to be, I, I've always been experiential. Like, I want to learn as I go and figure out what works for me. So I, I didn't really want to be in school. So I, I didn't have like that frat kind of, I didn't have any college experience like, like most have. So about the same, you know, about the same time, same age, I'm, I'm, I'm living this, I'm, you know, playing a frat house, you know, quarterback college. I had, I mean, we lived it kind of like on and off the set. It was like my, that was like my college experience playing, you know, in Blue Mountain State. So I, you know, I look back fondly on that. It was a really fun, wild time. Um, and the character was a blast. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. so I, that's kind of what I think of. Um, but I've had you know, a, lot of, a lot of great experiences. And I, I've, you know, when I got started in the business, it all happened really quickly. Yeah. Um, my, the first job I ever did was I was the body, I was the body, you know, uh, of Beowulf. And then oh, Ray Winstone yeah. uh -huh. came in and did the voice because they were like, ah, it doesn't quite look like a Beowulf, so we're looking for, you know. <laughs> but, like, everybody else was there, you know, like Angelina Jolie or uh, Robin Wright Penn. Uh -huh. um, uh, so I was around, like, all these great, uh, you know, great names, and, yeah. and I'd never been around that before. So I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, look at you now. Look at you now, yeah. Alan. Uh-huh. Look at you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How y'all doing? Uh, uh, sorry, Alan. Can I just say before you start, thank you. <laughs> thank you for putting a little smile. Oh, on you put a face. smile on Paula's <laughs> face. Come here. First time we see her smiling, Alan. Oh, oh, oh. God bless you, for that. you are the sunshine of my life. Mm. That's why I always stay around. You are the apple of my eye. Oh. Forever you stay in this heart. Paula Abdul, she loved you. Yeah. She adored you. What does she think about you and the career that you've made for yourself now? That's a great question. Paula, I've never run into her again. And uh -huh. I don't think, I don't know, would she remember me? I don't think she would oh, remember. Oh, I think she totally would. No I, way. You know, she, I, I, thousands you know of people that she saw. No way. I believe that she's watched you in a movie. Oh, yeah. She watched it. Loved it. Yeah. <laughs> She still loves it. Come on, Paula, call me. <laughs> well, Alan, well, let me ask you this now. Uh, let me turn it around here. So, if you could, you know, if you could say something to Paula, we have her on the phone. No, I'm just kidding. We don't have her on the phone. <laughs> you know, if you could say something to Paula, what would you say to her, like, if you could see her again? Oh, wow, what a great question. Um... I mean, because literally, you know, you could tell from the audition tape, she like adored you. You know. Yeah, I would just, I maybe thank you for the door, uh, the crack in the door. I don't know. I mean, she uh -huh. doesn't realize. They don't realize that this. You know, I didn't. I didn't. You know, go obviously clearly. Uh, I didn't go uh -huh. off and become a, a a singer. You know, I didn't. My music career didn't really uh, do anything. Mm -hmm. I I fell into the acting immediately after. That was my first time in L.A. She brought me to L.A. Wow. Uh, for the first time, and I realized once out here, I was like, ah, this is a really great energy. I'm from a small town, and this is uh -huh. fun. Now, these people are really hungry. I kind of mm -hmm. want to be around this. I don't know what I want to yeah. do, but I want to be around this. Right. And, uh, you know, by, by, by having that experience, she, she opened that door to me. And so I moved to L.A. because of that. Um, and I fell, I fell into the acting. You know, within three weeks, I was on a show. I, I ended up on Smallville really quickly playing Aquaman. And so the rest was history. I, I kind of stopped doing the music, and I just full, on, you know, uh, ran with the acting. Mm -hmm. um, but that's all because of her. I'd tell her that, you know, she gave me a Aww. life in a way. Yeah. We can talk about the turkey ball. Gobble, that's gobble. right. You know, Thanksgiving's coming. Gobble gobble gobble. You know, the turkey. Uh huh. Well, I like the ham anyway. Whatever. <laughs> I know, you right? Know, Who so likes turkey? <laughs> Give me some prime rib. Uh, yeah. 
This movie will have you laughing out loud, laughing so hard that you won't be able to even swallow your popcorn right. That's right. Uh, so, <laughs> Do you eat popcorn I, on Thanksgiving? Is that a thing? Well, you know, I, I eat it when I watch a movie, you know, but now on okay. Thanksgiving, I'll tell you something. My um, sister makes the, I have a twin sister, Alan, so my sister makes these like chocolate balls or whatever. I don't know. They're like popcorn so good. It's like balls? cookie dough with covered and dipped in chocolate. I don't know. I stuff Gosh. myself. Like I literally gain about 20 pounds. Can I'm, you I'm mail me some? <laughs> Can you put them snail mail? Are you allowed to send food in the mail? Can I have some? Oh, yeah. Oh, Alan. Oh, believe me, you, Alan. I will send you some. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to hold you to it. I want the cookie dough balls. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. They are good. I will tell my sister to make some personally for you, Alan. That's okay, fine. deal. All right. Okay, Alan. Okay, here we go. All right, now let's get back to your turkey bowl because they're going to tell me to wrap up here any minute. So, Alan, <laughs> how much fun was it for you to be able to be part of this particular film? Because it is funny. It's a comedy, um, and I think it's one that the whole family is really going to just enjoy and have a good laugh. I agree. Yeah, it was a blast to make. Uh, it was nostalgic for me going back because we had that same kind of tradition, right? The, the Thanksgiving Day football game. Uh -huh. This is about a, a Thanksgiving Day football game between some town rivals that was never finished. Uh, and they're reuniting to play this, to finish this game 15 years later. Stakes are high. A lot of the town is up for grabs. It's mm -hmm. uh, a girl is up for grabs. It's like, it's oh. great. And you know, I, I play this, uh, this guy, Ronnie Best, mm -hmm. the, the, the town uh, villain, you could say, and uh, the quarterback of the rival team. Um, it's just pure. It's just pure comedy, and mm -hmm. uh, it's 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 also got a lot of heart. I, I think for you know what some have called kind of like a bro comedy. Um, it's it's got a it's got a lot of heart, more than you'd expect, and it makes it a really uh, well-rounded uh, three-dimensional film. So um, I, I think people are going to love it. I, I I really enjoyed watching it when I saw it the other day. Yeah, I can't wait. It looks like a, an, an incredible film. I know I'm going to have my whole entire family watch it with me. Uh, and you know what? I might save it and watch it on Thanksgiving Day. That would be even more there special. There you go. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right, Alan. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Do yeah. it. Slip into um, a little a little coma halfway through and fall asleep. You can watch it and finish it the next day. Yeah. 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 Why, which scene would you say in particular had you laughing out loud the most on set? There's a scene that takes place in the bedroom of, oh, of okay. another guy of another guy and uh, okay, now. <laughs> it's it's uh it's a lot of fun and it i think that scene alone is worth checking out the movie for yeah <laughs> that's, all, well, that's all i'll say i can't wait yeah don't don't spoil it for everyone you know we, we got to go watch this so the turkey bowl everyone be sure to check it out tell our audience alan where the, when they can check out the turkey bowl Turkey Bowl, November 15th, uh, anywhere you can see it. Theaters, on demand, uh, however you like to consume content these days, it's there for you. That's incredible. I will be watching. Thank you so much, Alan, for joining me. It was such a pleasure to get to speak with you and to meet you and to chat with you, and hopefully I can get to see you sometime in person. I hope so. That'd be great. Yeah, take care, Alan. Thanks, you too. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.